All right, vacuum cleaners, vacuum cleaners. You know, I've had a, people ask me, does a vacuum cleaner actually suck air in or is air actually pushed up the nozzle of the vacuum cleaner? Ooh, cool. <laughs> oh, I use dust, I like it. <laughs> Anyways, so the question is, does it actually suck air up or does it pull air up? When a vacuum cleaner works, what it does is you have a motor inside of here which actually takes the air outside of the motor and blows it out the back. It creates a void or a vacuum and the atmosphere tries to fill that void or vacuum by actually pushing the air up inside the nozzle of the vacuum cleaner. So no, the air is actually rushing into the vacuum cleaner. It is not being sucked into the vacuum cleaner. Fascinating process. Wow, this thing just keeps falling apart. This has got filters in it. It's got a little vent cap. Inside underneath here, it had some tools and some attachments. So we had all of that in there. And it's cordless, so it has a charger. Now, there's no screws inside of this charger. So I've often wondered how they work. If you read the back of a charger, it'll actually tell you how much voltage it takes in and how much it puts out and whether it does it in AC or DC. However, you've got to, every now and then, see how they work. And will it come apart? Ah, there it goes. Oh, one more side over here. There it is. And we have a transformer. We've got literally the transformer is coming in right here. Your power is coming in one side of the transformer. It's going through, coming out the other side of the transformer. So this one is actually converting in AC here. All right. There's no diodes, no package, no nothing in here. A transformer is actually two individual coils of wire. Electrically, this set of wire here is not electrically connected to this set here at all. We have two, one on top, one on bottom, which have absolutely nothing to do with each other electrically. The magnetic field is actually what passes from one end to the other. Learning about transformers will take you a long time. They are a lot of little mysterious theories. You've got a right-handed, a left-handed theory. That you've got ways the magnetic currents flow inside these things. But they are everywhere. You will find transformers, little itty bitty transformers and huge transformers. They're everywhere. So anyways, there's a transformer. But we're talking about vacuum cleaners. All right. Here, let's see if we can figure out how to get into this puppy. Now this has some batteries. Ooh, here they are. What is this? How do these come out? Ah. There we go. Batteries. <laughs> I think I've got a tool that uses these. Maybe I can keep them around. And there should be a screw in here somewhere to take this apart. Oh, there we go. We've got a handful of little itty bitty screws deep inside here that will allow us to be able to open this up and be able to see the guts of the vacuum cleaner. Because what we're still looking for is we have the on-off switch, and in here should be the motor that's creating the vacuum. It should be throwing the air out through this slot and actually pulling it in through this slot right here, because that's where our filter was and our nozzles for all of our attachments. So let's uh, grab a screwdriver. Ooh, I'm going to need a little thin one to get into these. And go ahead and make this into more parts. One second. Uh, let's see if this works. I might need a special screwdriver for these pups. Now this is something I've been through a couple of times here where I've learned that you have to have the correct diameter screwdriver because I've gotten to take a bunch of stuff apart. Anyways, we'll get that loose. We get this over here loose. One of the tricks with a screwdriver is sometimes people will get them out of the angle a little bit of the screw. And you want to take sh make sure that you actually have the screwdriver straight in line with the screw. Otherwise, you're going to end up with the screws actually stripping. Once again, this is where taking apart stuff you don't care about is really important. Because if you strip these screws, who cares? They're stripped. You throw them away, you get onto something else. When you actually get around to dealing with the stuff you want to keep, you'll have enough skills under your belt that you won't wreck them. It's all right. And it looks like we just about got them all apart. We carefully keep track of all the screws. And there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. 
All right, all right, look at this. There it is, right there. That's our, that is the motor that actually does the work for getting this vacuum cleaner to work. It's sucking the air in through the front right here. Let's see if we, oh, there it is. Sucking the air in through this little turbine type thing here, forcing it out this way through centrifugal force, creating the vacuum in front of the head here. And once again, the way the world works is it, the world deplores a vacuum, so the air is going to rush in and try to fill this void right here. That is basically the guts of a vacuum cleaner. Now, if you want to have fun, this is a battery operated motor. You've got a motor up here, which should, the end, literally just should, it does, comes right off. And you could attach something to this and produce yourself something interesting out of it. Oh, you know what this would work out really well for? If you wanted to make a boat, you could go out and get a little propeller shaft for it and have a battery-driven boat. <laughs> you could build this into a million other items. Anyways, but that's how you take it apart. And as you get good at it, you can start learning what you might be able to put back together and how you might be able to end up using all these odd little parts that you find inside of all this stuff. Next time you're told to go out and do a little vacuuming, well, <laughs> you can take it apart. <laughs> all that ought to make mom happy. Be careful. All right, let's see how this thing comes apart. Once again, we've got the same routine. We've got a place in here which is actually creating a vacuum, and air is trying to rush into the vacuum cleaner. And here we're trying to filter it so it doesn't just blow out all the way through the house again. All right, now where do we do, where do we start? Oh, there's got to be an easy way to take this off. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ha! Oh, wow, cool stuff. Filter. And clamp. We have our basic. And here we have a basic hose clamp. It should open up and get all of this junk. Ah, the bag. <laughs> the hose. The screw. Oh, this is the part that always gets filled up with hair and stops working and you get to take the vacuum cleaner apart. Ah. <laughs> all right. And oh, look at that belt. Someone really didn't care about this puppy at all. Ah, there it is. Here's our little turbo engine inside here. Right here. We got a little turb the little turbo engine which is taking air and through a centrifugal force is blowing it to the outside of this unit here and up through here and into the vacuum itself. All right, and then a little prop that comes off and runs all that. So, once again, we have a vacuum cleaner. They both work very similar. This one just happens to have a bigger little turbine jet and a smaller one here. All right, well, let's move on to something else. We're off.